Today is gonna be start of something I have been wanting to try out for a while and that is creating this trading AI agent. Uh, I've seen a lot of like posts and stuff about this. There is this uh, paper or some, some kind of research. They are doing this now on um, Hyperliquid with, um, with cryptocurrency. So I kind of wanted to do my own version of this and I probably will do a Hyperliquid version too. Uh, but this is kind of the setup. It's not the most advanced setup, but I try to bring in context, find some tickers with high volatility because we're going to do CFD trading uh, and intraday. So you can see uh, how I set this up. Is I'm going to run Claude Code as the agent and I built some MCP servers. Uh, one is kind of on Yahoo Finance just to get the closing price and um, yeah, aftermarket price for the stocks. Uh, we have an X MCP, so we can look for sentiment on X, also on Reddit, uh, especially like on Wall Street bets and yeah, other subreddits. We can look at sentiments. So the agent is gonna be kind of like a sentiment analysis and try to pick tickers and stocks for us. And it's also gonna do kind of the setup for the trade, I think. Uh, basically, we use Cloud Code, we use the tools we have. Uh, I'm going to show you we have some more things we need in place. I'm going to show you But basically we use the MCP servers to find the stocks with high volatility and high sentiment and uh, Based on this context, we're going to ask the agent to suggest some trades for us So we're going to start off with thousand dollars and we're going to see uh, At the end of the week how much we have so today is just going to be me explaining the agent showing how it works and placing the first trade and I'm gonna come back at the end of the week with the follow-up video. So let's just head over there. I'm gonna show you a few more things before we get this started. So another tool we use is apewisdom.io. This is kind of tracking the trending stocks on Reddit for the past 24 hours. You can see we get upvokes, we get mentions, and we get the tickers. So I'm gonna do like top 15. This is gonna be a part of the context. And we have swaggy stocks. This is basically the same. Uh, but there's a more positive or negative or neutral sentiment analysis here. So we have gold, B beyond uh, meat, I think, AMD, Nvidia, Google, right? Uh, okay, so you can see these are going to be in the context here. So I have these two freshly screenshotted from this page. And we set up a workflow. Uh, so I have like this command here structure. So this is the workflow we do. We go from kind of, yeah, you can see we have a step one that's going to review our trending data sources. We have the two images I said, right? And we're going to use a bash command to get today's date. So we kind of have that up to speed. Uh, read my account balance. That is going to be a thousand dollars now, right? And we're going to extract all the tickers from the images we provided up here. And yeah, that's basically it. But we are going to avoid known mega caps. So like Google, Apple, yeah, Nvidia, like stuff like that. Because the volatility is pretty low. So there's not a lot of... Uh, you can't make much money on those CFDs because the, there's, there's not so much volatility. So we try to aim for like smaller stocks that have more volatility. Uh, especially these uh, meme stocks, right? In our Claude.md, we also have like, you're a professional trader with specialization in CFD trading. Your task is to find trades based on sentimental signals from Reddit, Twitter, other sources. Our strategy is to leverage uh, volatility signals and blah, blah, blah. It's pretty stra straightforward. So we have some strategies here we're going to follow. If people are interested in this, I can do another uh, go through of this, right? But basically, uh, this is kind of our simple setup. Uh, we have our MCP servers, so if we head over to Claude, right, and we do a slash MCP. Yeah, there are some, there are a couple of servers here, like the computer use, we're not going to use. So we're going to use our Grok or X server, we're going to use our Reddit server. The tools here are uh, search post, find trending posts, search by handles. And for the Reddit server, we have the tools that is going to be find post, get comments, and we can search for post, and uh, finance. Yahoo Finance tools are get quotes and get the quote with a scraper just because we need the real time um, or pre market quote um, ticker values too. Uh, yeah, those are the MCP services we're gonna use. So basically, I think we are ready to run this now. So I guess we can clear this, and all we have to do is just do our slash 
CFD command. So this is gonna start our workflow now. So the first thing that's gonna happen now is just that uh, we're gonna do the um, workflow we had in our command. So we're gonna read those images, we're gonna read our account balance, right, and everything. We're gonna check out the date. And yeah, uh, the reason I picked Claude for this is just, it's so good at doing like parallel tool calls, as you can see here. And just the tool calling is just world class. It's the best tool calling from all LLMs. And that's why I wanna use this. So you can see what happened here. We had a look at the images and we filtered out some. So basically we filter the small cap, uh, uh, small mid cap tickers. So we have beyond meat, asset entities, dragonfly energies, <laughs> AMD, okay. Uh, open door, SoFi, Nebius, okay. And then we use the Yahoo Finance. So we're gonna look at, uh, we use a headless puppeteer here to screenshot each ticker. So we can get the pre-market and the close market price for all the tickers we are interested in. And from there, we're just gonna keep doing research. Okay, so after some back and forward, we kinda ended up on two trades uh, we are gonna do, or that I did. Uh, we ended up with uh, Beyond Meat, and we're gonna do a 5x leverage. Uh, I'm not gonna do $2,000 exposure on this because uh, uh, I, I need to transfer some more money. But basically, we are starting with $800. And I'm gonna do an entry here for 1.9. And on the Sophie, uh, we're gonna do the 2.5 leverage. We're gonna do the entry at 29.9, I think, right? And we have some tables we're gonna follow to take profit tables. But more importantly, the stop loss levels, right? So we're gonna do, if we enter Beyond Meat, we're gonna do 1.8 and 27.5. And then we're just gonna have to wait and see what these trades give us. So uh, I'm gonna screen record my phone. I'm gonna show you the trades we have done so far. Okay, so you can see this is the SoFi trade we did. You can see we did a 29.98 opening price here. And if you look at the stop loss, we're gonna do 27.5. And the take profit is just gonna be as high as it gets, I guess. For the Beyond Meat, this is at 2. Point, uh, if you go to Beyond Meat, 2.08 now. We're gonna do uh, an entry price, I think, at 1.9 if we go down there. Uh, so that is basically the strategy. I think it's a very simple setup, and I think it's just a good start. Just trying to start to explore with this. We have like a thousand dollars. It's not insane, but we're gonna look at the percentages, I guess, and just to see what we can do with some small leverage. Uh, I'm going to build a hyperliquid one too, where we can do, uh, I think we can, they have a documentation and an API, I think, so we can do a bit more and set up maybe some more autonomous trading because this is very manual. It's, uh, yeah, basically based on anal uh, sentiment. So I'm going to do a hyperliquid one and I'm going to try to make it into a series. So I do like a Monday, maybe like an update. Uh, before the week starts and then I'm gonna do like on Friday now after five trading days I'm gonna do like a recap how we did during the full week because it doesn't take long to set up the trades and close them out when we want to so I'm probably gonna do a hyper liquid one uh, for cryptocurrency and I'm gonna continue with this uh, CFD uh, trading agents here with the setup we have so this is an iteration process, so I'm gonna to try to improve it over time, see what works, but doesn't maybe have some more specific strategies we need. So yeah, hope you will enjoy this series, and let's see if we can make any money. Um, I did make $50 last week when I tried it out, but that was a bit, it was just basically luck. Uh, and I think this is probably gonna be a bit of a luck too, but uh, maybe we find something, let's see. So yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you come back on Friday and have a great week.